Today, we will be discovering how to find the area of triangles by using rectangles. Let's review. Remember that to find the area of a rectangle, you must multiply the base times the height. In this rectangle, the base is 17 and the height is 10. So therefore, 17 times 10 gives us an area of 170 units. Those little squares, the blue, there's 170 of them. Now we're going to take that same rectangle. We're going to go ahead and illustrate that area formula. Area equals base times height, 17 times 10, and that the area is 170. It's the same as the last slide. The only difference is you can see there is a line drawn diagonally through the rectangle. I'm sure you're starting to see what shapes are made, but I want to show you what happens when I actually pull one of the shapes away. Here you see two perfectly equal triangles. So if together we have an area of 170, we're going to go ahead and split that in half so that each triangle gets the exact same amount of 85. Together the triangles would have an area of 170, but apart they each have 85 square units. So therefore, the area formula for a triangle is half of base times height. Let's give it a try. Here is a triangle by itself. We're going to go ahead and look at the base, counting the squares to make sure that we have identified what the base of the shape is. There are 17 units. Next, we're going to go identify the height, but we have two measurements to look at. Keeping in mind, we don't want to use the slanted or diagonal measurement. We want to make sure the line is straight up and down. Think about where the right angle in the triangle is located. Running perpendicular with the base, that is your height. Here, it is 10 units. Now we're going to fill in what we know in order to solve. Area will equal 1 half of the base 17 times the height 10. Order of operations says do what's in the parentheses first, so we're going to find half of 170. Then we do the math of finding half of 170, which is dividing it by 2, and we get 85 units squared. And here is a still image with everything you can kind of look at. Area equals 1 half base times height. Now we have a parallelogram. Remember from our previous lesson that a parallelogram has the same formula, area equals base times height. So we have to find the base. In this case, the base of this unit is 12, and we need to look for the height. Not being able to use the slant, we're looking for that height, top to bottom. We know we found the height because we created a right angle that is perpendicular with the base. Counting the height, we see that it is 10 units. Again, the area formula for the parallelogram says to multiply base times height. So therefore, the whole yellow, 120 squares. But, whoa, if I pull it apart, what do I have again? Two equal triangles. So I'm going to take the 120 and divide it by two. And I'm going to give the area for each triangle a value of 60 units squared. Together 120, separate 60. It is very important that we identify the height and the base so that we fill it in correctly. Here we have the triangle by itself. We are going to go ahead and find the base. Counting up the base units, we end up with 12 units. Again, we're looking for the height. We have two sides. Neither of those will do because the sides are slanted. Those are not the height. In this case, the height is actually going to be found at its highest peak. We want to go from the top to the very, very bottom. Use the ruler to create a straight line, but from the tippy, tippy top to the base, again creating that right angle where they are perpendicular, we can count them up, and the height is 10 units. Let's go ahead and plug in what we know. Area equals 1 half of the base times the height. The base is 12, the height is 10. Area equals, again, let's do what's in parentheses first, 120. 
and area equals half of 120, which is 60. So for this triangle, we have 60 units squared. Again, a still image, so you can review everything. Area equals 1 half base times height. Let's go ahead and give it a try with some practice problems. Please feel free to follow along on paper. A triangle that has two measurements given, 8 inches and 15 inches. Let's write down the formula. Area equals 1 half base times height. What we should do first? Let's identify what we need. Let's identify the base in blue. The base of this shape is 15 inches. The height, which we're going to do in green, is 8. Wait a minute, that's not right. Did you catch that? It's absolutely not the right angle. We want the height to the tippy tippy top. We're going to use the ruler to show the height is 5 inches. So now that we have identified, we can plug in our numbers. 15 times 5. Area equals 1 half of whatever 15 times 5 is. Always do the parentheses first. Half of 75. In order to find half of a number, you just divide by 2. And area gives us 37.5. Since the measurement of inches is present, inches squared. Next problem. Area equals 1 half base times height. Let's identify the base. 8. Height? 15. Good job. We know 17 is not used. Area equals 1 half of 8 times 15. We will go ahead and calculate inside the parentheses first. 15 times 8 will give us 120. Then we will find the area of half of 120. Again, to find half, we're just dividing by 2 and we get the answer of 60. In this case, centimeters squared. So our takeaways for today, let's remember that the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. 